It may look strong and sturdy, but experts warn. Ice can be very deceiving. If you've got, you know, lakes, rivers, anything with a lot of movement in it, it's unlikely to freeze solid. At least eight Canadians have died after falling through ice since November. Experts say climate change is shortening the period of time lakes are frozen. And this year, El Nino is keeping the water warmer. We are a country of, of snow, ice and cold. And uh, what's missing uh, is, uh, is all of the above. We're seeing a lot more rain, for example, not as much snow. Experts say conditions are most dangerous at the beginning and end of winter. And everyone needs to take precautions when they go near ice. The season is narrower and narrower to enjoy activities on the ice. So people really do need to keep that in mind. You know, if you have a tradition of going out in January for ice fishing, um, don't assume that over the decades that will remain the time of year that is most appropriate to go. According to the Life Saving Society, approximately 35% of drownings in Canada occur from October to April, and snowmobiling and ice accidents account for most of them. Wear a life jacket before you venture out on the ice, even if you're just going out to check the depth of the ice. Putting a life jacket on or a buoyant snowsuit on is a great layer of protection. Bacalar also says it's important to have someone else with you and to let others know where you're going before heading out on the ice. Idhil Moussa, CBC News, Toronto.